You didn't move out the way. It's not my fault. You wouldn't move. You're an old dog that needs to be shot in the back of the head and put out of its misery. So I put the hit out on you, and I'm proud of it. You want to know why? Because I can carry that weight. I have no regrets in this world. So I put the hit out on you, and these two idiots joined you. But again, I'm a step ahead of you. And I called the original LAX back. And ever since then, we've been taking you out beating you down, embarrassing you, showing the world, showing your people that you got to go. And in just a few short days, in my city, in New York on the 14th of October, the world, I'm telling you right now, order it, order it, because I am going to destroy everything you've ever built. I'm going to destroy anything you ever worked for. You're the brand new baby boy. You're not going to be able to raise them. Because on the 14th it ends. And so does LAX. And OG 730 will live on forever. Déjame explicarte algo, compa. A esta gente le vale lo que hiciste en Nueva York o quién eres de Nueva York. Aquí perro hediondo, estás en México. Y déjame explicarte una cosa. Esa bandera que me robaste de mi oficina, si no me la regresas, Le voy a decir a toda esa gente que se venga a venir y entre todos te vamos a partir toda tu madre. Translation, baby nuts. All I got to do is say the word and all these people are going to bum rush the ring and kick all your three asses all over Mexico City and I'm going to help them. Thank you. I dare you. Listen to this. We had a street fight in Toronto, 51-50. A street fight they invented, they perfected, and they were undefeated in but they took a big L with you under the guidance. They never took an L when I was guiding them and you couldn't live with that, could you, right? So you up the ante. What do you do? You, in the middle of a ceasefire, you come, you call me out, you try to instigate me. You come into our clubhouse and our place of business and relaxation and you disrespect the spot. But then the worst thing you did, the most disrespectful thing you can do to a luchador, you take my mask right here in Mexico City and you burn it down, don't you? Right? Yes, I did. All right. Disculpa que le tengo que hablar a este naco hediondo en inglés porque no entiende español. So you think you're slick. You think you're always one step ahead of me. Here's the problem. Every time you take one step, I've taken two, which means you're always one step behind me. All right? Yeah, figure it out, genius. Here's the other thing. I raised you since you were a little boy. I was a father you never had. I validated you so you could get into the game and then put you up on game. As a matter of fact, I validated all three of you hoes. So let me tell you something real quick. All this stuff that you're doing, the bosses are watching. Those aren't boss moves, those are bitch made moves. And let me tell you the difference between you and I. There's a G code, all right? All our predecessors lived by them. No kids, no families, no breaking truces. You violated two of them already. The bosses aren't happy. Don't care. All right, well, maybe you'll care about this. They want me to give you a personal message. Okay. Here's the message. What? The ceasefire, it ends right now. Oh, and a shot from Conan, and it's on between the OGs and LAX. The ceasefire is over. Conan dropped King with one punch, Josh. What's gonna happen Sunday? 
What's gonna happen in New York City? We'll see you all at Bound for Glory!